In this class, we will try to solve a problem on polarization. What is the problem? Let us see that. A plane electromagnetic wave traveling along the plus z direction has its electric component given by Ex equal to 2 cos omega t, Ey equal to 2 cos omega t plus 90 degree. The wave is linear polarized, right circular polarized, left circular polarized or elliptically polarized. So, first of all we have to conclude about the polarization whether it is linear polarized or right, right circular polarized or elliptically polarized. What we are going to do is we are going to write the Ex and Ey component. So, let us write the Ex is which is nothing but 2 cos omega t and Ey is nothing but 2 cos omega t plus 90. Now, what I am going to say is um, as this variation is along the x component, I am going to put it here a x cap. So, this is nothing but along the x axis, this is nothing but along the y axis. So, I am just putting that. Now, if I see what is the magnitude of a component along the x axis, it is 2. What is the magnitude of a component along the y axis, it is again 2. So, the magnitude, so the magnitude in both the direction, it is equal, right? Okay. What is the phase difference between Ex and Ey? It is 90 degree. So, when the magnitude is equal for the both the components and phase difference is 90 degree, it is very much clear it is an circular polarization. So, this problem is on circular polarization. So, what we have concluded is it is a circular polarization. This is very much clear. The next part is as the question says that whether it is a right circular polarization or left circular polarization. Now we have to identify which type of polarization it is. Okay. How we can do that? What I am going to do is I am going to plot something omega t equal to 0, omega t equal to pi by 2. right? and there is something omega t equal to pi. What I am going to do is, I am going to see the value of Ex and Ey component at omega t equal to 0, omega t equal to pi by 2 and omega t equal to pi. Right? When I put omega t equal to 0 here, what will happen? Cos 0 is nothing but, cos 0 is 1, right? So, Ex would be 2 Ex cap. At omega t equal to 0, this will become 0, right? And this is 90. So, this become cos 90 and cos 90 is 0. So, this Ey would be nothing but 0, right? And 0 unit along the, let me say 0 unit along the y axis, right? Which is same as 0. Omega t equal to 90, if I substitute here, this become cos 90. Cos 90 is again 0. So, my Ex will become 0 Ex cap and Ey will become 90. So, I am going to substitute omega t 90, 90 plus 90 180 degree cos 180 degree is minus 1. So, this will become minus 2 Ay cap, right? At omega t equal to pi which is nothing but 180 degree, right? Cos pi is minus 1, right? So, this will become Ex will become minus 2 Ax cap and Ey will become so, it is uh, pi is nothing but 180 degree, 180 degree plus 90 is 270 degree, cos 270 is third quadrant 0. So, this would be 0 Ay cap, right? So, I have plot this, just what I have done is I have put omega t equal to 0, omega t equal to pi by 2, omega t equal to pi and this is the way actually we will be solving either it is an elliptical or circular polarization and I have put the different components value at this omega t what will is the component values. Now, let us plot this component. So, what I am going to do is, now there is a variation along the x axis, there is a variation along the y axis, right? So, let me mark this as an x axis, this as an y axis, right? I am just randomly marked x and y. Now, if this is my x, why I marked x and y? Because I have a component along x and I have a component along y. If the y's versa is there, whatever the component is given to you, you can take that axis. In my case, it is x and y. Now, if this is my x, this is my y, where will be my plus z axis pointing, right? 
how I can get that? I can get that by applying the right hand rule right we have seen in the previous videos right what is right hand rule you take out your right hand your four fingers should always point in the direction of x your middle finger should always point in the direction of y and thumb should always point in the direction of z this is what is called as right and thumb rule right so basically or basically it is also called as right hand coordinate system to be very precise so if I look like this you see that this is x, this is y and this is what is my z. It means my plus z is pointing or I can say that plus z is outside the board. So my z axis is outside the board. Okay. Now I am going to plot these values. Okay. At omega is equal to 0, I have only 2 magnitude along the x axis which will be somewhere here. right? E y will be 0, so it will be here, no issues. Omega t equal to pi by 2, I have only E y component which will be along the which will be along the minus y. This is the magnitude remains the same, My, it, the magnitude is 2, but it is along the minus y axis. This is plus y axis, it means minus y will be somewhere here, right? If you plot, right, where will be minus y? It would be somewhere here. So this will be your minus y axis, right? Same way. If I go here at omega t equal to pi, I have a 2 unit along minus x axis which will be here right again somewhere. So can I say that when I am moving along omega t, what I am observing is I am rotating like this right. You see that? It was 2 a x so somewhere here I put some 2 magnitude then you got minus 2 a y which is nothing but 2 unit along minus y which is somewhere here. So basically to be precise this figure should be or this is what is your 2 and this is what is your 2 unit right and let us say that this is what is your this is what is your 2 unit right. So this is what it is rotating. So as I am moving this is how it is rotating. Now as I have done this rotation part what I need to do is I have to conclude on whether it is a right circle polarization or left circular polarization. What I am going to do is I have to point the thumb, I have to take the right hand and I have to take the left hand. I have to point the thumb in the direction of propagation. Now in which direction it is propagating right. Now it is being given in the problem itself the wave is propagating in the plus z direction right. So it is propagating in plus z direction. Point the thumb in the direction of propagation. Let me take my left hand and point the thumb. So you know that the plus z is outside right. We know that already plus z is outside and it is in propagating plus z. So I am pointing the thumb in the direction of propagation which is outside and rotate your fingers which is nothing but try to make a curl. If I make a curl can I say that my left hand is uh, my left hand curl is satisfying this curl right. You see that. If I take my right hand and point the thumb in the direction of propagation and try to make a curl if you observe this curl is opposite right right so the only hand is nothing but my left hand which is satisfying the pointing the thumb in the direction of propagation and the finger curl is making this direction right you see so it is my left hand which is satisfying this condition so it is nothing but your left circular polarization so the answer to this question would be nothing but left circular polarization and this is how you can find it out which kind of polarization it would be.